A lot of people have been asking me what happened to the third annual New Year's Eve world's largest sardine lowering uh, here on uh, my little small main island on the Canadian border. Well, it's your standard artocrat and artist conflict. An autocrat is a bureaucrat in the art world, usually involved on a government or institutional level. Artocrats also tend to suffer from obsessive compulsive collecting syndrome, focusing on a particular area of interest and scouring the internet for anything connected to the genre and buying it when they really should be working. Back in 2005, when I was employed as a janitor at the local art museum, uh, a downtown business group suggested uh, lowering a ball from the roof of the museum at midnight on New Year's Eve. I thought that was a stupid idea. I mean, why copy New York? Uh, so I suggested that since this island is the birthplace and graveyard of the American sardine industry, that we lower a, a sculpture of a sardine from the roof. And the autocrat uh, museum director agreed, uh, though he admitted later that he had uh, his doubts that we would be able to even pull it off. So, uh, with my sister-in-law, Shayna Berry, the creator of the Fofers, we planned and designed and built well, what was then considered the world's largest sardine at six foot long. And uh, we made and printed up and hung some posters. Uh, a couple hundred people showed up and we all had a grand time, but Shayna and I knew that the next year had to be bigger and better. That's just the way we felt. So Shayna designed and constructed Sally, uh, the world's largest sardine, who's actually 24 feet long from nose to tail. Uh, with help from some friends, we raised her to the roof of the art museum, and the media took notice. Front page of the Boston Globe, big story in the Bangor Daily, TV stations from Bangor and Portland, and media outlets all over the world picked up the story. About 400 people showed up. Uh, we gave out candles and sparklers, and we lit the burn barrels, and Sally just shimmered. At night, under lights, she was beautiful. And the response was very uh, positive. People were collecting the posters and saying this is a great annual event to promote our small little island. At the same time, I had just quit my uh, janitorial job at the art museum uh, due to philosophical differences over uh, how a bank vault within the building uh, should have been demolished. So after uh, the lowering of Sally, uh, the autocrat never spoke with me again. But worse, and more offensively, he never thanked Shayna for her hard work and her creation. That makes me mad, real mad. So we waited around to see if the autocrat was going to call us about the 2008 celebration. But he never did. Uh, never came into our modern art gallery. Uh, never telephoned, emailed, or even sent a, a telegram. Instead, the autocrat commissioned an artist from a town an hour to the south uh, to construct an eight foot long fish. Now I happen to know the artist and he's a very talented fellow. His uh, sculptures and jewelry are absolutely fabulous. But you know what? An eight foot fish is nothing in comparison to a 24 foot long fish. And many, many people were telling me that they thought it looked more like a minnow or a smelt. Meanwhile, I had hung Sally from the second floor of the Shag Gallery. Many people stopped and smiled and took pictures. In fact, a half dozen people were gathered at midnight on New Year's Eve expecting Sally to be lowered. Uh, about 150 people gathered to watch the art museum lowering. No candles, no sparklers, and, and no burn barrels. But a great thing was that there were lots and lots of teenagers just hanging out, which is great because there's really not much to do around here in the middle of winter, especially if you're a teenager. Now, I uh, can't show you footage from the actual lowering of the art museum sardine because uh, it's just not dynamic enough. Instead, I decided to lower Sally by myself on the 5th of January when no one was around because, uh, truth be known, uh, I'm not a big fan of crowds and I really hate institutional holidays. 
So we will be recycling Sally uh, using the fabric in a new art creation and we're going to mount her head uh, like you would mount uh, the head of a deer and present it to the Quaddy Mad Scientist.